Gary a defeat, but a great cup tie. No, it was. It was a. It was a. You know, I think for people watching, they would have enjoyed it. It was a. I thought we probably slightly edged the first half. Uh, I thought St Johnston went against, went in front just against the running play, and then we equalised. And I thought in the second half it was good. Both teams trying to win it. You know, they hit the post, we hit the bar, uh, in the extra time. You know, anybody's games, but. If you wanted, they defended a bit better than us in, in the extra time period, and that's inevitably what's cost us. Lindsay's goal coming right on half time. It would have been harsh if he had gone in losing at half time. I think so, yeah. And that, and that cha- it didn't really change my team talk because we were got to be positive because we were happy with how we were playing. We were just got to tell the lads more of the same, and we did just say that. And the lads, to be fair, done that. You know, St Johnson are a good team, they're an established Premiership club, and I think they'll know, especially in the 90 minutes they were in a game. And, you know, I say that even the extra time at 3-1 down, we still went and with 3-2 and we had another chance in a corner and, and they scored with the last kick of the ball. So the players gave us everything today. You know, as a manager, sometimes you say, like, just make make sure you give us everything. And they certainly done that today. And another day, we maybe have edged that game. It wasn't it to be. We need to get over a dis- disappointment and uh, get the players recovered and go again next week. With the exception of probably 10 minutes in that ex- first period of extra time, I thought Queen's certainly matched St Johnson. Yeah, we did, you know, and that's what I'm saying. That's a disappointing thing because it's things that we could have done to prevent the goals. And and we will speak about that in-house, you know. It, it was more, though, rather than the shape of the team or something like that, it was more individual errors. Uh, and that can happen. And, and unfortunately for us, the two or three individual errors we made today led to goals and they were in the extra time period. So it's things for us to look at and we will. But, you know, I, I just today I, th- I was really, really happy with how we played, you know, and it's... I think the fans acknowledge that as well, you know, I think the players, I was in the tunnel first, doing the tunnel first, but I think the players got a, a good ovation for the fans, they appreciated the effort they had put in, and uh, I'm sure Tommy would say the same, that, you know, we gave, him, uh, we gave him a fright. In terms of fitness as well today, I thought, apart from that wee ten minutes that I've talked about there, because they finished strongly even in that No, we did, makes- yeah, we did, we finished really strongly. Um, the goals can change your fitness a wee bit, you know, like we lost the second goal and I think it knocked, we were on the attack, lost the ball, they scored 2-1 and then you lose the next one and I think it, it, it just, it takes you two or three minutes just to get going again and then we did get going and we scored and we seemed to get a bit of energy and they seemed to go a little bit, but I think goals change that, you know, it's the goals that change how, how you feel and how you, what your fitness levels, whether it's mental or physical, it's the goals that change it, but, you know, I, 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 I'm sort of caught between, I'm, I'm disappointed that we're out the cup because I generally feel there was a chance of putting St Johnston out there today. But I'm also really happy with how the players played for us. Um, so I'm sort, of, I'm sort of caught a little bit today. I was going to say that to you, it was a defeat, but you must be full of pride and proud of them today. Yeah, I think so. I think any time you, you don't get beat over 90 minutes with a Premiership club, you've got to take the positives out of that. And as, as you say, the 10 minutes in, extra times, in the first period of extra times probably killed the tie. Um, so it's part of football. You've got to just accept it. It's difficult, you know. Now the players will be hurting. I'm hurting, but at the end of the day as well, you've got to try and take something good out of a defeat. And I, and I thought, as I say, for we play. I, I actually thought it was probably our best performance of the season because of who we were playing against. That was just my own opinion. I may change that when I go back and watch the game. But for watching it, I thought the 90 minutes was as good as we've played for our. You know, last week we spoke about. He says it's. A bit part, it was like 60 minutes against Morton, the second half against Dundee United. I thought for 90 minutes we put in a, a good performance today, and only really that 10 minutes and extra time that I'm, I would sort of go back and change if I had my time again. You had to make changes fairly early on yeah. with Callum. What's the latest with Callum? Well, he's just went up for a head, and as soon as he's, he's felt it straight away, you know, he came off the pitch. Normally, a player would just go in, he came off, he says, Mike, so. We'll have to assess that. Obviously, it doesn't look good when somebody like Callum comes off after a minute or two. He didn't even feel that he could try and run it off, so that's generally not a good sign. Um, and then Michael Doyle went back there, and I thought he was excellent. You know, the last goal, he, he, he said to me after the game, you know, I'm sorry for that, but, you know, that was irrelevant. The game was finished here, really. I think that was the last kick of the ball, but I thought he was excellent when he went back, especially bear in mind that he played for 100 minutes with an injury himself, you know, so we need to see how Michael is as well. We're hoping that Josh's ankle, eh, groin isn't as bad as we thought, and hopefully we can try and get Josh back training in the later part of this week. But as I say, it, we'll just have to wait and see, you know, and, and, and if the lads are going to miss next week, we'll have to just juggle the pack a wee bit and, and put a couple of people into different positions. 
Was it uh, Callum's ankle? Yeah, when he landed, just as he landed, it wasn't a kick or he didn't he twist it, I think. When he's landed, it sort of rocked his ankle, so... You have to wait 48 hours probably to get the swelling and get the ice on it and Gavin will have a better idea probably Monday or Tuesday what we're looking at. It's been a tough week really given the sense we are in midweek and then... Yeah, listen, I'm, I think that I think that worked what we've done. You know, giving three or four of them a, a wee bit of a rest because I thought we were, we were buying at it for the start today. So I think that worked. And it's good that a couple of the younger lads got some game time on Tuesday because if we're missing a couple of them on, on Saturday against Falkirk, they'll have to come in again. So it's probably a good thing that we got them some minutes on the pitch, even today, you know, and Bell himself had to go on after a minute and he gets taken back off. But, you know, that he's played 95 minutes, you know, it's not like a sub, you know, getting sub back off and, and it's an embarrassing thing. It was just we felt it 2 1 behind, we had to get a, a more attacking player on. So great for Owen to get that experience coming on the day, 90, 95 minutes, and, he, and he'll learn for that. And he's probably going to be a, a, a big player for us in terms of the, the squad over the next couple of months. You're obviously going to have to wait and see how Michael and Callum and Josh are, but big game against Falkirk again next week? Yeah, as in we'll get to that, you know, but we're conscious as well, you know, Falkirk haven't won a game yet, you know, ourselves, we've had a, a, a draw and a defeat, so... You know, both teams will be keen to get the three points. We've done generally done OK at Falkirk since I've been at the club. Uh, we're having to do a lot of homework on them because there's been a big turnaround the players there. I, I think I'd be right in saying Paul signed something between 12 and 13 players. And a lot of them have came up for England, so we've not actually seen them uh, sort of live, if you want. You know, we're having to watch a lot of videos and that to try and get to know them. And they've been changing their systems as well, for a four at the back to a three at the back. So it's a little bit of an unknown for us and for the players. So we need to... Recover for this game, um, me and Dougie will have to do a lot of work uh, in terms of what we feed it back to the players, that they, what to expect for Falkirk and then we want to try and get our first victory of the season in the league as soon as possible.